How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. Oh my god! We live in a 2006 Toyota Prius, and we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. That's probably not good, huh? Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. Camper and I would be so thankful. On last week's episode, Camper and I test out the all-new 2022 Toyota Sienna minivan. As a potential car to move into, we take it off-road into the North Carolina mountains and really get to know the car. It was a huge success and we leave off our adventures giving the Sienna back and making our way south to Florida, where we bunk up at a rest stop for the evening. Good morning, camper. Let's see how it's looking. It's pretty quiet for a rest stop. That's incredible. Whoop. That's how you know how humid it is here. This was blue yesterday. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get changed, and then we have some real fun on the agenda. Ooh, we had some condensation last night. Okay. First stop on the road trip was exclusively hybrid to go see our friends and get this baby fixed up. All right, camp, the days of a decorated dash are over. <laughs> Look at all those lights, oh my God. Prius is getting fixed. Should not be driving this thing because... Well, the biggest problem is um, <gasps> right here. Basically, if you drove on a highway for, let's say, another, I don't know, half an hour, it would overheat. Alex explained how this could lead to some major issues. Then I reminded him of my off-roading adventure a couple weeks ago, and it all made sense. So. And this? So, with that being said, we said hi to the gang and let them get to work. Don't worry, we're gonna fix your car, that way you can get back on the road. This poor car. Off-roading. <gasps> you got a nice dent oh my on your gosh. fuel tank. Wow. What's the, oh my gosh. I can't believe I did this. That's probably not good, huh? You did good. Uh, I guess we messed up our car a lot more than we thought in Death Valley. So I think we might be here a lot longer than we expected. I guess we'll just park it over here and work a little bit. <sighs> so glad we have a power station. We're gonna work outside. I highly recommend having a portable power station like the Jackery Explorer, especially if you're like me and you are working and living full time on the road. For us, having one creates so much more comfort and freedom so we can cook, heat water, and so much more. Especially with the solar capabilities as when I'm not driving long distances to charge up or don't have access to a wall plug, you can charge up anywhere there is sunlight in hours. I'm such an advocate for solar powered stations that I partnered with Jackery. So if you're interested in one, please use the link in my description as it helps out Camper and I a ton. While we waited, we also got a workout, simultaneously did some training, Camper declared nap time. So I joined him. Camper also declared playtime. You wanna play? And then the Prius was finally ready. All right, it's been like six hours. Let's see. While they were taking the Prius out for a final spin to make sure everything sounded good, Camper got a little nervous they were stealing her. It's okay, it's coming back. <laughs> Ready for another road trip. Camper, come on. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Ready. Ready for another road trip. Look at that. No lights on. That's right. I don't know. I think the Prius is going to have an identity crisis here without all the flashing lights. 
Next up, retirement training at Grandma and Grandpa's. Hello! Oh. Circle boy. Campers, Grandpa winning? Oh, oh, we got three games. Ooh, yeah. You should have seen these ladies over the Elvis impersonator last time. Now we got Neil Diamond. <laughs> oh my god! <gasps> Camper, you're okay! You're okay, baby! I got you! I got you! It's okay! It's okay! <laughs> Seriously, man? Say cheers, friends, to the camera right there. <laughs> We had such a fun, relaxing week with family that it was time to get back on the road. All right, we got this baby loaded up. Uh, before we hit the other coast of Florida, we're gonna hit our favorite dog beach. Goal is to park in a shower so we can shower afterwards. <laughs> That'll be our shower of the day. Look at that. We got a shower right here and a parking spot front and center. Dog beaches like the one in Jupiter, Florida are super hard to come by, so it's one of our favorites. We spent hours making friends, exploring the beach for miles, playing along the shores, and just enjoyed the sunshine. All right, camper, you ready for a shower? Living in a car, there's a lot of ways to shower, but this is one of my favorites because it's free, but it's not private, so this might get weird. Needless to say, camper was not having it today. It was also time to restock food and supplies. Grocery trip for the week. The way I stay healthy living in a car, and it might help you out, is I usually end up only shopping the perimeter of the grocery store, right? The outside where you go to your meats, eggs, yogurts, natural foods, things like that. But I also love my snacks, so <laughs> going down the snack aisle. Let's fill her up. So the whole idea with the fridge is, it's all kind of like an organization act. How can you get it all to fit? Also, this is a huge game changer, these eggs. I'll put them in a hard case so that way they can't break. That changed my life. And now my biggest secret of all. Guys, it is so hot out here. Whoosh. You ready for it? West Coast, here we come. Oh boy, they have a high wind warning on the bridge today. The one we're sleeping on. Uh-oh. Right here in the shade. Oh yeah. That's it. I like this. Oh, come on. Oh. I wasn't ready for that. Wow, it's windy. I'm getting splashed by water. 
Oh well, we're gonna go have some fun. <laughs> we just got soaked! It's so, oh God, it's dirty. Oh man, I don't want to step on it. He tracks in. Oh no, it died. Crap, no. I'm hungry. Ugh, I really wanted to make a hot meal, but it's so windy out. So we are going to make our lunch inside the car. That guy just got blasted with water. There's a storm coming in tonight, but all over Florida, and I don't feel like driving seven hours to get out of it. So we are going to brave the storm right on the coast because that's a smart place to do it, right? Yeah. So for the sake of our table and things not blowing away in the wind, we're going with a bag salad. <laughs> Less singing, more sharing. Ooh, how about some feta? Yeah. You okay, lady? Okay, next we need to figure out how to get to the extra toppings. I don't feel like getting out of the car, so we're gonna try to do it this way. It's so windy. Got one. I got one thing I needed. You gotta go in for seconds. Okay. <laughs> oh, I should have probably just gotten out of the car, but it's so windy. Who's ready for dinner? Don't fall, please. Oh yeah. Mm. The rest of the evening was spent cleaning up, picking a book from our library, heading out to move our legs, enjoy the view, and as the sun began to set, we headed back to the car. Okay, this is gonna be the hardest part. Gotcha! <laughs> we cleaned off our feet and watched the rest of the sunset from our humble abode. You know what time of day it is. It's not a real shower, but it's the best we can do. See you in a minute. All right, I gotta flatten out this car. That feels good. Not only do we want to be flat, but uh, it's going to rain a little bit tonight and we're in sand, so we wanted to get a little bit back on the grass so we don't get stuck. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. And if you'd like all of our videos early access and during that time completely ad free, join our Patreon for as low as $1 a month. Have a great day. We love you all. Good night, camper. I love you. Good night, guys. We decide we're gonna do this weekend. Uh, we're gonna go to the beach and sleep there. What are we gonna sleep in? In your Prius. Yours All the... three of us in the Prius. What do you think, Grandpa? Someone can sleep in front in the driver part and the two other people in the back. Where's Camper gonna go? In between the two other people in the back. <laughs>